Hey, Jake, can I show you something over here? Sure thing, bub. I'm trying to send Genevieve a sexy pic. Just make my bubble butt pop. Nope, I'm out. Who's that? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, excuse me, pal. Take care of my desk. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Drop it, drop the weapon! Don't be a dumb dumb. Squad, meet Detective Adrian Pimento. He's been deep undercover for the last 12 years, but he's just resurfaced, and he's rejoining the 9-9. Nine -Nine. That is awesome. Some of you just met Detective Pimento, and of course, some of you knew him before he went undercover. Hitchcock and Scully. <laughs> you guys still work here? The only way they're getting rid of us is in a body bag. It actually happened once, but it was a false alarm. Detective Pimento will be returning to his old desk. Peralta will temporarily be moved to the break room. Questions? What'd you do undercover? I worked for Jimmy the Butcher Figures. That is an A-list mobster. Tell me literally everything. Everyone, shut up! Pretty much just a bag man for him. I mean, I did some other stuff. <laughs> um, we usually try to tell funnier little stories. Well, there's nothing funny about what I did for the Butcher. I've had to learn not to blink, because every time I close my eyes, I see a fresh horror. Ooh, dark. But how do you keep your eyes moist? No. Actually, I have a very funny story about keeping my eyes moist. <laughs> hey! This is my desk, okay? Okay, well, now that that's out of the way, I was just coming to let you know we're gonna work at B&E together. We're gonna be partners. Nope, I work alone. Plus, the butcher says he has spies in the NYPD, so I trust none of these dildos. Listen, you can trust me. I'm, like, obsessed with you. <laughs> Fine. Tell me something you've never told another living soul. Um, ooh, here's one. I'm actually not strong enough to lift a water cooler jug, so I always find a way to make Terry do it. Here's mine. Jimmy the Butcher made me drive a croquet wicket through a guy's eyes into his brain. Brain leaked out his eyes like he was crying his own mind. My goodness. Now that I've heard yours, I feel like my water cooler thing could have been a little more juicy, but... No, that was embarrassing for you. A bond has been made. <clears throat> Feels good to trust again, brother. Wow. Either you or a cyborg, or you're carrying so many weapons in this jacket. Hey, kitchen. Now, okay. What's up? Something's not right about that guy. Why, just because he keeps threatening to kill me in the middle of a police precinct? Uh, grow up. Because I'm physically attracted to him. And that's bad? I'm only attracted to creeps. The vulture, the ShamWow guy. When I was a kid, I had a major crush on the evil gremlin. Stripe? Are you crazy? Yeah, well, I'm not gonna bone Gizmo. I would. Be careful with Memento. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Oh, hey, can I borrow that? Genevieve's out of town. I need two phones so I can send her a fronty and a backy. I don't want your ass in my cloud. Adrian, are you living in the break room? No. Why do you ask? Uh, because you're shaving your shoulder in our communal eating space. You have a bed set up on the couch, stuff like that. Fine. Busted. My landlord kicked me out because my stupid neighbors couldn't handle a few tiny night screams. <coughs> I was dreaming that someone was trying to scalp me with a sharpened grapefruit spoon. Aren't brains fascinating? I mean, where does it come up with this stuff? When I was undercover, someone did try and scalp me with a sharpened grapefruit spoon. Sure, that would do it. Aren't you dating Rosa? Can't you just stay with her? Oh, yeah, no, we're doing this really hot thing where we haven't told each other where we live. Makes our sex play really erotic. Barf. I totally get that. Well, you let me know if there's anything I can do. Oh, yes! I will stay at your home. Thank you! He, what, Hana? You just said you wanted to help. Oh, unless you weren't being serious, which I would get. I've been betrayed before. For instance, by the grapefruit spoon guy. No, 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 definitely you could stay with me. Oh, you're the best, Chuck. Thank you. <laughs> but for real, get yourself some good earplugs because I really downplayed how horrible those night screams are. Ah. All right, I'll see you later, right. roommate. Diaz. Pimento. What's up? What's up with you? I need you to sign this report. Okay, I'll sign your report. What the hell? Careful. The ink's still wet. Maybe this will help. <sighs> oh.
Okay, they gotta knock that off. Loosen up, Sard. Summer of love, baby. It's March, man. Shut up. You punching holes? Yeah. That's way too much paper. Not for me. Can't even get a cup of coffee. Well, I'm off to find some yellow paper so I can do this all over again. All right, Diaz, that's it. What's going on with you two? Oh, you noticed it? Yeah, I noticed it. Everyone's noticed it. A convicted pervert asked me if you guys could cool it. I don't know what to tell you. Something between us, Sarge. Something dark and urgent. I could have done that. Yeah, I know you could have, but you didn't. I did. <laughs> I mean, there are lots of other poles, guys. A whole street full of them. So, Adrian, when are we going to stop messing around and do this thing? Uh. <sighs> never. What? You know what? I just realized I, I forgot. Something at home. I'm just gonna. Papa, Papa, come in here. Hey, Papa's here. Papa, I'm so scared. There's a monster in my closet. Oh, buddy, shh. It's okay. I'm here. Monsters aren't real, my little pierogi. But I saw it. It was big and hairy. Oh, you just had a nightmare, buddy. No, it was real. I'm sure it felt that way. But I am gonna open this closet. And I'm gonna show you that there's nothing in there. Don't do that, Papa. See? Nothing. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Chuck. It's Pimento. And now Nikolaus says he's too frightened to ever sleep again. So that's just super duper. I don't understand what he's so scared about. If I was there to kill him, he never would have heard me. A thing you told him several times. God, Nikolaus is having such a rich childhood. Can we back up? What were you doing in Boyle's closet in the first place? Oh, I still had a key from when I was crashing there last year, and I wanted to shower and anoint my body with essential oils before I saw Rosa. Duh. Well, she's gonna be so psyched that you're back. Where have you been all this time? Vegas has been locked up for a month. I was in prison in Uzbekistan. It's actually not as bad as it sounds. I deserve this! Why were you in jail? Ah, uh, I got shot down smuggling ammo to a rebel group, flying an old Soviet prop plane. They tortured us, made me eat my co-pilot's tongue. Oof. Now I've got a taste for it. The important thing is you're safe and sound and back in Brooklyn. Thank you, Captain. <clears throat> oh, you smell good. Wowza. And end of hug. Okay. What happened with Hawkins? Did she take the bait like a stupid fish? Yeah, she invited us to go out with our gang tonight. <laughs> Speaking of which, Captain, any luck getting coke out of evidence? One bag of primo blow, as is the prolongs. I still have reservations about this plan. Perhaps you could say your dealer ran out or he's summering in Nantucket. No, this is perfect. If she gets wasted, maybe she'll get sloppy and start talking. Plus, I mean, I can teach you guys how to fake take real drugs like a pro. I used to do it all the time when I was undercover. All you gotta do is close your nostril when you go down. Watch this. Oh, nope. I didn't do it that time. I got a full snoutful, woo! <laughs> okay, no, let me just try it again. I'm a little rusty. All you gotta do, just close the old nostaroni and then, Oh, boy, I got more that time. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. whoa, where did you get this? Adrian, that's enough. <gasps> we can make fake cocaine for ourselves out of vitamin B powder. Ooh, vitamin B, the second best vitamin. Guys, I'm telling you, the fake snorting can work. What? Oh. <laughs> I got so much that time. Oh, oh. anybody want to listen to Jamiroquai right now? Okay, I'm just gonna move this away from your nose holes. <gasps> well, you two should get going. If Hawkins tells you anything, text me right away. I'll stay here and watch Adrian. Who's Adrian? Yeah, all oh, right. Hey, yeah, do you guys play an instrument? You know, I play a little bit of bazooki. Anybody else play an ancient stringed instrument? No? You guys want to go to the beach? It's a beautiful day. Just maybe like get out there, throw the disc around, right? Hey, have you ever been to the Statue of Liberty, Captain? Mm. Have you? Have you ever been inside, like under the skirt? Like, what's up there? Did they build a? You know what I'm saying? Oh, guys, watch this. I'm gonna juggle. No, 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 no. no, 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 no.